school year, winning with 2,054 votes is Ashley Lee. Yeah. My name is Ashley Le and I am the Student Association President. I was born and raised in Vietnam, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and in 2010 I immigrated to the United States, uh, first to Southern California in Orange County. In 2015 I applied to college at GW and um, that's where my home is now. When I first went to school, I was in a predominantly white area and so there were a lot of Vietnamese speaking students around. I think that middle school age is a difficult age, right? Everyone kind of acting out, um, and when they see an Asian kid or a kid that doesn't look like them and doesn't speak like them, it makes it even harder for them to understand what was going on. And so I think for me, when I first came, in the first couple months when I was in uh, eighth grade, I remember just being and feeling like an outcast. And I think that it was emotionally really strained to go to a school and to have an education that my parents have, have fought so hard so that I can have, but feeling like I shouldn't be there any day. I think that for the longest time, student government anywhere, not just at GW, has been seen as this body that is only for a certain population of students. The responsibilities include advocate for students, however that means. Um, it includes working with senators, working with different student organizations, working with every person in this university who's working um, to advance policy that, that improve the student experience. I have an average of about five or six meetings with administrators every week. Um, these administrators range from the president to the provost to the dean of student experience um, to different officials from different university offices. Last April, the university put forward an action response report in response to the Snapchat incident that occurred in February of 2018. And part of the response report included promises to the institution and the creation of this role was one of the promises. I look to create space and create opportunity and that shows up in the form of workshops, it shows up in the form of strategic planning, policy changes, implementing new programs and structures, overseeing lots of projects that we have institution-wide. This work is not about saying you're not good and great, it's just about making people better and more aware and more conscious of the things that they're doing on a daily basis. I think depending on the institution you're at, student government has a lot of traction or they have no traction. I think at GW, our students overall have a lot of power. When I think of something like the action response report that created my role, that was rooted in not only students in SA, but student leaders across GW making change and saying we need this change. I think where SA becomes really significant is that they have direct access to some of our top leaders at the institution. And I think that right now we're in an institutional transition in terms of administration. I mean, my role is new, our president is new, our dean of students is new. And so the three of us have sat around a table before and, and listened to Ashley. I work closer to my team in the executive cabinet. We have weekly meetings every Sunday from 2.30 to 3.30. I am most proud of my cabinet this year is because it's comprised mostly of women. It makes me very happy whenever I think about it because it really shows that female leadership is now appreciated. Recently, I saw a picture of uh, the Trump administration and, and they were having a, a talk with the China um, delegates and at the table it was all men and the two women who were there were translators and I realized that we at the Student Association at GW we are everything opposite of that.
Ashley's uh, gonna leave a legacy that she might not even know of. And I think a lot of people think some conversations happen overnight, but it's really important to understand that some of that legacy component is doing the hard work that has to happen first in order for a decision to be made at the end. And so I think that Ashley can definitely leave her term knowing that she's created a lot of space to have those conversations. And I think as we watch some of the new candidates come forward and share their platform, it's living in most of their platforms. All right, so without further ado, um, I would like to congratulate the next student association president, uh, receiving 66.60% of the vote. Congratulations to SJ Matthews. I think community building is going to be a high priority for both Amy and SJ this coming year and I think that what Amy and SJ will do will build on what we have already done as a city organization. It just may look differently. Student government doesn't have power. We can't change policy and we can't make anyone do anything. But what we have is influence. What we have is student voices and think of it like a car. We may not be the driver, but we are the engine. And without the engine, the car won't work. And I really believe that that's what student government is. I hope that in the future, in the years moving forward, students will understand and know that changes are possible, that changes are constant, and the only thing that matters is how we react to changes. And so I hope that students won't be afraid to elect and to believe in student leaders of color because we can only be really successful if the students are behind us. It's okay to be tired, it's okay to be sad, and it's okay to be disappointed. There's going to be failures coming your way, but the reward that comes with everything that you do is so much more. So I think when I'm gone, and years from now when people look back, they'll remember me as the first Asian female. Um, to ever be in this top position at a student association and I think that on its own is already a really powerful message for women and women of color out there is that they too can do that. They too can be in that position.